Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, I'm going to do this real quick. Um, I'm going to do... I haven't uploaded to this channel in a minute. So, forgive me. I've been working hard and stuff like that. But we're going to do the Get, um, get Out movie review. And I'm going to decode it. So, it's a lot of things that um, Jordan Peele, or Jordan Peele, I think that's his name... He, he did a lot of good stuff in this movie, and people don't realize it, you know. Usually, I'm really sitting up, and I'm speaking right now. I'm just a little tired, a little, a little bad, but I wanted to do this movie review. And I'm going to let you know about this movie review, how things went um, with this movie, because it was a lot of hidden messages in there, and so I'm going to decode it. A lot of this so just to let you know it will be some spoilers in this so if you haven't gone to see the movie i hope you go see the movie so get out basically what the movie is about let me tell you what it's about and then i'll get in scene to scene with all the scenes i remember because i am going to go see this movie again this was a good movie so get out is a movie about an interracial couple um a black male who is a photographer and he's um, dating this white woman. I believe they're either in like upper Pennsylvania, New York. I don't know where to sit in that. And they're dating for a while. Um, they don't live together. I know she comes to his apartment and things like that. Um, she's decided to see their family on the weekend and a lot of weird stuff going on. So let me get, just get into it. So first, before they get into, you know, the couple, um, the first scene is about... Um, this black dude walking in this white suburb at night. And I can relate because I do sales. I did door to door and stuff like that. And when you're, you know, of a certain complexion and you walk in somewhere at night, it can be a little scary. So in the movie, they showed this, you know, he wasn't the main character. He was just, um, you know, a guy just looking for a house. So I'm believing, um, what they didn't show, he was um, on the phone with his girlfriend, which, um, you know, later on in the movie is like the same girlfriend of the other black guy. But that's another story. But he started walking and he was like, yeah, baby, I'm just trying to find a house right now. And then he in this unfamiliar neighborhood and he's trying to find this girl in this car and this white Porsche is just following him. Now, the thing is. You know, and I'm going to say this. Men do some stupid stuff for women. Now, I'm going to try to keep this this as clean as possible. I'm not trying to, you know, curse trying to do any sexual in the windows. But, you know, the power of women will have you in the suburbs late at night. So that's all I got to say. So this guy was in the suburbs. And basically, you know, he couldn't find it. He was on the phone with his girlfriend. He was like, this car had followed me. And this car had been following me. And this car was playing some weird music. It was following him. And he did. He had the right idea. When the car started following him, he was like, no, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back home. You know, forget this. But then he was like, you know what? Ignore the car. And, you know, I'm going to keep on going anyway. So what happened was when he went back, the car actually stopped. So by the time he realized the dude was out the car, he got snatched up. And he was a skinny, skinny black guy. So they, they put him in the trunk. So that was... The beginning of get out and one thing about me if i was like if i seen that danger i would have left man i wouldn't have stayed you know i wouldn't have stayed there so go back into the so the credits show and then it shows you know the protagonist or the main character you know which is a black guy you know i don't know the names i'm just gonna you know i know i just seen a movie a day ago but if I had this wicked, hold on, I can, I can get the names because I got it on Wicca, actually. And I did really see the movie, but I just want to get the main protagonist's name. So. Let's see the plot. So the guy name was Andre. All right. Excuse me. So the guy with name was Andre and the woman name was Chris. Okay, so Andre and Chris. Now I got their names. So I don't need Wikipedia no more. So the guy name was Andre. He was a photographer. And what he did was uh, he had put 
you know, he was dating this woman, you know, Chris, and he he was skillful photographer. A lot of his pictures he took was very skillful. He was like one of the best photographers in this area. So Megan Dakota, this white woman, don't just date anybody. She was dating the best of the best. So this guy was the best in this field of photography. That's why um, she was dating him. So, you know, they was talking. She brought some bagels to his house. And she was like, you ready to meet my parents? And he was like, did you tell them it was black? No, I didn't tell her it was black. That's a red flag right there. Um, one thing I would have did, decoded, and I dated, like, you know, white women too. You got to let them know, like, listen, nowhere unless your parents know the deal. So he was like kind of simping a little bit like, uh, you know, I want to meet your parents. I don't know how they're going to feel about me being black. And she like, oh, honey, it's just fine. No, it's not always fine because a lot of times you get traditional families and a lot of families don't like that. They, they rather see, you know, their daughter with someone else. And now you might once in a while get a family that accept that, but a lot of families and it's not accepting of that. And a lot of the younger generation is naive to that. And this guy, you know, he was younger. Um, Andre, he looked like he was in his 20s. She was in his 20s. I'm going to say they was between 23 and 25. Wolf was young. You know, so she talked them into going there and he started going there. Boom. They start driving to the suburbs. And I'm thinking this is, they was in New York, so they started driving in a Pennsylvania suburb. So... Basically, they start driving and he calls his brother and his brother is like a TSA worker at the um, hotel. And he's like, man, you going all the way up there to the middle of nowhere, meeting white folk and stuff. And we don't do that. Just making a joke because, yeah, we really do that. So this dude was very comfortable with this female just to put his livelihood in check. Because, first of all, he know the deal with the racial tension in this country. He decided to go up there anyway. So... They start driving and a deer just fly. The deer didn't just walk. And people, I don't know if you noticed this, if you've seen the video, the deer was thrown to their car. So it was a scenario that happened that I think was hap that just happened. And it was like the deer just flew out the air. You know, they, they portrayed the deer getting hit, but no, if you... Like, if you were to see the movie, you'll see the deer coming from the left and just hit the car on the right. So the deer was flying. So it was like somebody threw the deer to their car. So they hit the deer. He gets out, check the deer and stuff like that. So, you know, they file an incident report. So I guess the state police came. It's like, oh, yeah, are you all right? And asking her a bunch of questions like, oh, how did the deer hit your car and stuff like that? Blah, blah, blah. Then he said, oh, where he was he in the car as well? Yeah, he was the passenger. Okay, let me see your license. Now, what the brother did, he complied. He was like, I don't have a license. I have a state ID, but here we go. And then the white woman was all hype, like, oh, no, you don't have to show him nothing. Don't show him nothing. He wasn't driving. You know, don't show him his license. Like that. So I'm thinking, like, okay, this female is going to get him killed. So, wow. I was like... But actually, you know, everything went all right. And she, the cop, I mean, she kind of chumped the cop where he didn't have to show her the license. And they started proceed to the family house. So, boom, they get to the family house. And the dad started like, oh, what's going on, my man? And started saying slang and all this stuff like that. And and the, and the, and the girl was like, yeah, my, my dad don't never speak like that. So... They started, you know, talking to him and he was like, how long this thing been going and I would have voted for Barack for a third term and all this. Just, you know, just being all Joe with him, showing him the 